Well, we're gonna start the vlog off on a Friday night. I wanted to start it off earlier, but I just got the new camera. So this whole weekend is gonna be us vlogging with the new camera. So we're gonna start it off with dinner. The old taste test. Mmm, a little spicy. That stuff, yeah. I know. I felt, I felt like I was deprived. I didn't have like, um. Like even they weren't filming. Well, I got my knee tattoo last night, and I was like really excited. I was like, oh, I'll vlog all about it. And I was like, oh no. Like I didn't have the camera or anything, so I was like, oh, even Jess, Jess is like, you want me to vlog a little bit while you're getting tattooed? And I was like, I don't, I can't, I can't, I feel lost. We just finished dinner. We were fooling around with the camera and trying to like fix the settings. I think it looks good. I think, I think it's where I need it to be. We'll see. Um, but it's late now and we're going to attempt to watch some Lost. We're on episode 11 of season one. As you can tell, we did not get very far. We're doing it like on a weekend basis. Bear with us. So we'll probably fall asleep and have to rewatch episode 11 three or four times. Um, but yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings us, Saturday. You'll always be my night sky. You're the night sky hiding behind our gray clouds. I can't figure you out now. I see all blue. There is so much cold in you. And the silence is so loud. I'm waiting in the car. Kurt ran in. We were going to get food and we didn't know what we wanted, so then we decided to get Smoothie King. So that is always a good option when we're undecided on what we want to eat. Um, but that also means no matcha this morning, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. But I'm waiting on him to pick up our order and I am wearing my unwell daddy gang shirt. Um, I love it. I got it for Christmas from Kurt's cousins, my sisters. Or at least I feel like they're my sisters. Um, then I'll head up to work. I have a few appointments and then I'm hoping that we get to go out to dinner tonight because I really, really, really want to get like, our favorite restaurant currently is Faux Asia. We've been going there almost every weekend and I like try to test out new things on the menu. So I want to get soup. I'm really excited about their soup and try another one of their bubble teas because we tried the strawberry one. It was okay, but I want to be like a little bit more adventurous with the one we try tonight if we go. I just got back from work. I ran in real quick so that I could pack a bag for tonight. I'm just packing up a few things, makeup, clothes, I don't know, all that stuff that I need for Kurt's house. Kurt is on his way to pick me up, so he should be here like any minute. And then we are going to go to Faux Asia. I have been craving this all day. I've been dreaming, daydreaming, thinking of their soup. So I can't wait for that. It's definitely um, what I'm gonna order and then we'll see what other stuff we get. Uh, and then we'll see where the night takes us on this exciting Saturday night. You'll always be my night sky We made it to the restaurant and we've ordered some food and we're waiting on a drink and I'm really excited to eat all this food. possibly eat all of this by myself. So I'll probably have to take it home and eat it as a snack. I can't figure you out now I see all blue There is so much cold in you And the silence is so Finally made it back home after dinner. We stopped off and got a few um, things for tomorrow because we have to be up at like 6 o'clock in the morning to be out of the house 
by 6.45, 7 o'clock to head to a music video that Kurt is doing and I don't think I'm going to make it. So I'm kind of already for bed. I washed my face, I have my lotion and my cream on. We did get a few snacks that are for tomorrow, but of course, being the snack queen of America, I decided that we had to try some of the snacks tonight. And one of the things that we got, I've been looking all over for these things. These are the um, nerds, but they're like the gummy cluster. So it's like a nerd rope, but like cut up into pieces. They are amazing. Do you see what time it is? I cannot even believe we did it. We had to get up by like, I don't know, 6.15 to be out the door. But, well, we said 6.45. We did good, 6.50. But we're on our way to Kurt's music video. It's Sunday morning, but our first stop is always good old Duncan. <laughs> We're about I mean, 25 minutes from our destination. It's like 8.45. So we've been in the car for what, two hours? We've traveled to me, which seems very far, but I managed to put on my makeup and get myself prepared for the day. This is by far, to me, the earliest I've been up doing stuff wide awake. I think, um, the Duncan always helps, you know, but... Oh, yeah. I guess I forgot about that. You're right. You're right. That seems like ages ago. But yeah, when I was teaching, I definitely got up early and functioned earlier than this. But that seems like, you know, 20 lifetimes ago, so that doesn't count anymore. And your heart makes no sound I'll find valid in your eyes He'll always be my night sky We made it. I don't know where we're at. In some abandoned building. It's be my night sky bathrooms and pretty much everything like all the original stuff the windows the floor everything is like the same just so so old and run down and nothing's been fixed but it's so cool and so Kurt's gonna shoot a music video here and I'm gonna just kind of walk around and look at everything and explore and take you guys along with me because this is like right up my alley if you don't know because I just live for this kind of like spooky, creepy shit. It's crazy. It's absolutely freezing in this building, so I'm probably gonna go and take a little break and go sit in the car and warm up a bit. But look at all of their equipment. I'm in the car, I'm trying to warm up. 
Um, I have the temperature set all the way on high heat in the car. Um, I need to defrost my body because it is entirely too cold in that building. I mean, it's ungodly hot in here, but that's pretty much how I like things. Really, really hot, just like the shower. Um, I'm in the car eating some snacks and I have my drink and I'm actually watching a YouTube video. It's one of the Instagram slash YouTube vloggers that I follow. She actually just put up her road trip vlog and I thought it was fitting. I'm in the car, kind of on a road trip per se with Kirk and I figured I would watch. So just as I was all getting warm and toasty in the car and starting my YouTube video and relaxing, Kurt called me and said, hey, can you come in for a few minutes and help us out? So now I'm back in the cold building and I'm helping them shoot the music video. I get to press the play button, so I feel kind of useful, I guess. But right now I'm walking around just trying to get the juices flowing because it is very cold in here. Still very cool looking, but very cold in here. Okay, I made it back into the car. I'm nice and warm, getting my feet a little bit toasty up in here, but it's time for a lunch. I'm starving. So luckily we were able to get um, like Grubhub or Uber Eats, something like that, because the place that we're at is kind of vacant and in the middle of nowhere. So it's kind of hard to really go and get food anywhere. But for lunch we have... really are extremely tired tonight. We just got home. Two hours was kind of longer than two hours, don't you think? We're going to bed. Tomorrow's Monday. Maybe we'll get brunch. We're back at it, in the car. It's like we never left. <laughs> but we got a nice long rest. And now, this bright Monday morning, we're making our way to brunch. We're pulling into First Watch now. I'm really excited because they do like seasonal different menus and I usually try all of their seasonal drinks. Every time that they make a morning type drink, I make sure to have tried it. So their new one that they have is called Purple Haze. It has lemon, cane sugar, pea flower tea, and a hint of lavender. I'm really excited to try this. And then they have like different, uh, seasonal food options like their avocado toast but now they have crab on it so that looks really good and then they also have another one I think it's like a Mexican like what do you call those tostadas or some kind of breakfast burrito or taco thing that might be really good um, I feel like I'm always talking about food and I'm really never even hungry it's just my need to try things. Like I really want to try all these things. And I can't see the ground. Can we stop this gravity? It keeps bring This is so delicious. I'm so glad I got it. This is so delicious. I'm so glad I got it. That was a long ass weekend and it's time to go. Okay, gotta go. Whoa.